John Burnside of Freeboard Capital joins me now for the Trader Rundown. And John, what do you make of this market? Well, you know, it's been pretty uh, crazy. It's been it's been just going up, 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 and up. And then all of a sudden, Apple comes out yesterday and says, you know what, maybe the, I, the IA didn't sell it as well. So we'll see what happens uh, as they come out with earnings in the near future. Right. What do you think about Apple's move? Do you think this is something that maybe could become a buying opportunity at some point? At some point, obviously. But, you know, I don't know. I, I've got teenage kids and young 20 year olds. They're not buying the i8 yet, so we'll see what happens. But uh, I think that's a pretty good barometer. And then, of course, people are still watching IBM. IBM made that massive move this week, propelling the Dow well above 23,000. It, it was something that uh, everybody's been waiting for, and that's why the stock rallied as hard as it did. You know, we'll see if they can, can sustain that kind of uh, growth. We all talk about how they've lost uh, their revenues and what have you, but it seems to be getting closer to the end. How are you reading the options flow on IBM? Because I'm seeing a lot of calls, big demand, and traders willing to pay more for calls than they're paying for puts. How do you read that? Well, I'm usually a contrarian in all those kind of trades. So, um, I, and I'm on, when I was a market maker, I'd be selling all those calls and buying all the puts. So I honestly think that may, it may have gotten ahead of itself here in the short run, but it's something to definitely be, uh, it intrigues me because it still pays a great dividend, and I, you know, I like those dividend-paying stocks. Anything special you're watching in the market right now? Well, you know, it, it, I mean, with this market sell-off towards the end of the week, uh, you know, we've been able to reposition some of our uh, our overall strategies. Uh, the one that I would say that really benefited us is Verizon. It came out with earnings on Thursday, popped above 50, and uh, you know, we still like that stock. We uh, own it. We have many different strikes on in the collar strategy and we still get those dividends. What would be your target price on Verizon? You know, I don't really have a target price as much as I have, let's continue to receive those dividends. Ah, dividend player you are. I Thanks like so much that. for coming on the show for the Trader Talk today. Glad to be here.